Alright, yo, what's poppin' everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. It's your boy Ego, and today I have another video to basically tell you guys how to increase your CP. Yeah, I know, there's so many different methods to increase your CP in this game, guys. Legit, if you wanna be stacked up, like, for example, someone had commented on my video saying that my level 1 Magnazone was higher CP than his what was it his breakthrough two or was it epic or was it i don't remember no it was one of his breakthroughs pokemon that he already he was working on my level one magnezone is higher higher cp than his and it's minus five star okay and no i don't have anything in this pokemon to give it higher cp except for just stars it's not even broken through or anything like that so i'm gonna give you guys an explanation on why some of my pokemon might be higher cp than yours and we're on the same level or we're the same same i don't even know okay <laughs> um zero star all right so this is a based larvitar if my larvitar is higher cp my level 1 Halavitar higher CP than one of your breakthrough Pokemon with it not being high at all, then you need to do this. Like, 100% you need to do what I'm about to tell you right now. Alright, so there is a thing in this game where you go to training and then go to devices. It tells you to come to this and do a treasure hunt every single day as a daily thing because it gives you a daily draw one time for free. And... Looking at these items right here, guys, you guys want these items. And legit, if you can pull these legendary items, I will tell you right now. Well, this is not legendary, but it's epic, but it's important. I will tell you right now, you're doing the right thing because your luck is amazing. When I pull on this, all I get are these green things, and it's so annoying. Y'all got no idea how annoying that is, right? But if you're pulling these golden ones or these yellow ones that you guys want to... I don't even know if you guys... What color you guys would think this is, yellow, orange, or gold. Then y'all got good luck, because I wish I was you. These things right here needs to be leveled up, or in this case, upgraded. Now you guys can tell why I've been complaining about getting these green things so much. <laughs> Look at the levels on these. Level 12, 12, 11. We got 13, 9, 10, but like, come on. And then we got 6, 8, 3. Like, that's the blue ones. That's how you know I don't pull blues. But like, bro, you guys see what I'm saying here? And my purples are that are lower. Like, come on, man. I wish I can pull better. Look, I don't even have the I don't even have the legendary ones awakened. Because this is missing. And this is missing. Everything else is there. Like, I got two of these. If I can trade one of these for these, I would. But I can't. <laughs> you know? And the same thing. Three. Two. Two. Like, come on, man. Get, let me get one of these and transfer into a tail. Like, allow it. But... The reason why you want to activate these things as soon as possible and level these things up is it increases your CP stats, guys. Alright, it increases your stats. Activate at plus 3, all Pokemon HP increased by 1%. Now let me tell you guys, if it says increased by 150 or 1%, I'd rather the 1% because a 1% increase is higher than 150 because that's a base stat. A 1% is an all-around stat, you know what I'm saying? The more you level up, whatever... Whatever you leveled up, you'll increase it by another 1%. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like, you gotta level these things up. Because And the thing is, the best part about leveling these things up is you can randomly level up one random component. Like, let's say you have... But do, do it smartly because these things are not easy to come around. You might have 3,000 of these things. But let me tell you right now. I had 3,000 of those things and now I only have 100. I only have a hundred, a hundred five, dude. Okay, and for me to level another one up, let me see. I think I have, I have eight of these, but I need two hundred and eighty of this thing to level this thing up to level what thirteen? That's not gonna happen for a while because it's it's kind of hard getting these uh these these blue these red things, these 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 things these explorer components. 
I mean, you get an Aether Paradise, but like you can only get a fixed amount. Or you can buy it in the shop, but again, you need to use these things on these. But I don't recommend using these things on these because I want you to get these. You can choose which thing you can buy, which one you want to buy. Because you want to always buy the legendary ones to increase your CP higher and higher and higher. Now, real quick, take this into consideration right now. If you have a red dot here, a red dot here, and then you got a red dot here, red dot here, red dot here, red dot here, and red, red dot here. That means you're able to level something up with that machine or you can upgrade. But do these first. These give you better boosts, okay? Like 5%, 5%, 5%. 5%, 5%, 5%. The percentages are a big difference. These are giving you 1%. These are giving you 1%. The purples are giving you 3%. And then the gold or the yellow or the whatever is giving you 5%. So I would recommend do the pseudo legendary, aka Kyogre. I don't know why the hell it says pseudo legendary when it's clearly Kyogre. You got the Pokemon there, but you got Volcanion's airship. How you got Volcanion's airship, but you got a pseudo legendary aircraft. Anyway. And like, hold up, time out. Bro, why does this thing say Doduo Scanner? Unicorn Crawler. Catfish Boat. Armored Vehicle. Rhydon. Bro, hold up, time out. This ain't no damn. Okay, I mean, if this ain't no damn Rhydon, this is a right horn. Or is it a Rhydon? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, not in shop. Pokedex. Pokedex, Pokedex, Pokedex. It's a Rhyhorn, bro. Cut what you're doing, devs. Devs, fix that. Fix, fix that, fix that, fix that, fix that, fix that. Guys, point this out to the devs in their Discord. Get this change to Rhyhorn. Get this change to Pinsir. Get this change to Wishcash. Get this thing changed to Excadrill. Get this thing changed to... I always forget this thing's name. I always call it the freaking Pringles, man. Oh, what is this thing called? Um, uh, um, someone comment down what this thing is called. I don't care. Polyworld, all right? Kyle, come on, man. But yeah, go, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm sorry. Um, yes, these things need to be activated because, look, I'll give you guys, right, I'll tell you right now. I have this activated at a level 11. This is 12, 12, 12, but you can see it right here. It says active, whoa, plus 10. Wow, okay. Meaning, it's level 10, I guess, because I never, did I never upgrade this? What? Okay. Anyway, moving on. HP of all Pokemon increased by 6%. Base stat of all Pokemon increased by 1%. And then, there you go. Those are all activated. At 12, all Pokemon HP increased by 1%. So, like, as you increase the, the, the upgrade level of this thing, you get extra benefits on your Pokemon. And then this is where it really affects you. Like, right here. Physical attack of all Pokemon increased by 5.6. Special attack increased by, increased by 5.6. You guys see where I'm saying now? Like, see where I'm coming from now? Like, this is what's giving my Pokemon the boost that you guys are not getting. Alright? Now, the other thing is potential which if you guys are past level 50 you guys or ep and you guys can unlock um have you guys pokemon in at epic level you guys can unlock these and start working on these all right um potential is the other thing effort values is another thing like these are all things you want to use i uh, i would recommend you get if you have an s plus pokemon you rec i recommend you work on their evs their potential their stars their ivs first all right um, and then work on like your S's but again if you have more dupes on your S's though work on them like it's preference right like which Pokemon to really work on meaning like if you have a nine star S rank Pokemon and then you have a four star S plus Pokemon and you can't get more dupes in them then I would recommend you work on that S plus po um, that S that S Pokemon with nine stars all right instead of working on your Lugia in this case or or your 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 dark ride in this case but you know i'm diff i'm doing things differently so yeah um with all that being said i hope you guys do take down some kind of um 
idea on what you guys should be doing to increase your CP, all right? Again, these things are very important for you guys to do. So if you have more questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll drop a video for you guys. All right. Now, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you do hit that like on your way out. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on and I will see you guys next time. Join my Discord. Link, link is in the description below. Peace.